Hello guys, Stefan here again. So, I prepared uh, something to print tonight to test the uh, further test the functionality of the lighter and also of the new firmware. This is the latest. Also, we have some two things new here. We have the texture plate from Clarity. And also what I printed last night in ABS, it's hard to see. This riser was printed on this printer. And now everything sits better inside. Now it's calibrating the flow. We'll print another. Uh, we'll print another set of the screw and the um, nut or something like this for my printed arm because I broke this one last night. This must be flush with this head. Now the lighter is scanning the flow. Sorry, the pattern. And uh, we'll see how we performing. Also, uh, before I switch to the texture plate, I do a full bed leveling because this one is different from the original one, which is this one. The smooth plate. So. Till now, the former works very, very, very good. I have no problems, no errors or something like this. The bind to the Creality app uh, from what I saw on some Facebook groups, it's an error from the Creality servers or something like this because it didn't work uh, before the update and uh, isn't working now either. Now it's scanning the surface with the force there will be. <coughs> it's homing again, X and Y, and uh, we'll go to the purge line. I think in the next video I will come uh, with something for this uh, chain to not sh uh, be sagging anymore. And also I will have prepared some uh, prints for the next video with some polymaker filament. Don't forget also with the expert mode you can adjust, uh, adjust the Z offset, the flow and also do a nozzle PID calibration when you change the hot and or the nozzle and so on. <coughs> also I see some comments on the Facebook groups that for the, some people the lighter doesn't work but please check here at A function you must have all this uh, switched to on. Also, when you start the print, you have some some mark when you start the print with calibration. That also must be checked. This is a normal filament. Also, I saw some comments about uh, what uh, what I use at the slicer. I'm using Orca slicer. It's some basic profiles. I will, I will try to make some uh, 
get the print profiles to share with you. I'll put the font in the folder and uh, to give you a better uh, view. So after the first layer, the printer will stop, will uh, and will scan the surface. See, I don't like this. I will make something to, to stay like this. Now we'll heat up again and we'll start the print. We'll try to see the quality. Also what uh, I saw with the latest firmware that uh, only for me, I don't know for the others, but uh, the issue with the VFA vertical fine artifacts was gone. <laughs> I'm sorry for the fan noise, but it is what it is. If uh, we want uh, good cooling, we must have powerful fans.
Oh, yeah, a piece of filament stuck there, but uh, the, the print will be fine. For me the, the big improvement was the lighter now it really works and also the, uh, the bed leveling uh, oh no, oh not the bed leveling the printer now truly compensates for the, the warping of the bed and it's taking in account the mesh leveling So guys, tomorrow I will have uh, some special videos for you. I have some filament from Polymaker. I think it's one of the best filaments on the market and also the best company. The guys are really nice. So we'll print some uh, high quality PLA, PolyLA PLA. It's a silk green chrome and also a PolyLA PLA a silk red. We'll print this tomorrow and uh, we'll see the quality of the prints and the quality of the material.
I don't want to make a very long video because I think it's boring. But I will uh, pause the video now and I will come later when uh, the print, uh, the height of the print is more, let's say, half of the print and we will check the quality. And uh, also, guys, let me know in the comment what videos you would like to see about this printer, what we want to print, uh, with what material, and uh, we'll, uh, I will make it for you. Also, thanks again for the huge uh, support of the last videos of the K1 Max, and uh, I, hope, I hope you enjoy my content in the future. We'll come later, guys. Hello guys, um, so I'm back again, later. What I want to show you, let me take the phone out. And the print quality is very good. Again, we have the last thermal. I will end the video now and uh, we hear us in the next video. So let me know in the comments what more prints you want me to do and uh, what uh, you want to know more about this printer and uh, we will check out for sure thank you guys i'm stefan and happy printing till next time bye